Hello, this is Richard Smith with American Acceptance Mortgage. Wanted to take a minute and talk a little bit about what it appears to be a shift in the interest rates over the last several days, and it's taken, it's been a little bit of a surprise. Rates have moved a little bit higher over the last three or four days, and it's a little surprising to me, given the fact that a lot of the news has not, our economic news has not warranted a turn in the bond market, and I thought it'd be good to discuss that today just briefly. If you'll notice, the housing starts actually have been worse than expected, worse than the briefing forecast and worse than expected. And these are the economic reports for this week. Typically when economic news is worse than expected, uh, then the, the bond market, the rates bond market Im- improves and rates go lower. What has happened the last three or four days, and I'll show this to you on the bond market chart, interest rates have turned and started increasing and they've been in a three month trend where they've been lowering over the last three months and it's it's a turn that I wasn't expecting and I kind of want to discuss it. One thing that did happen this week is that the producer price increase, producer price in index was showed a little bit more inflationary pressure than had been expected and that would tend to, to push the bond market down and interest rates up a little bit but this is not enough really to make that big of a difference with the housing starts being so low. What I'd like to do is take a minute and look at the the bond charts and we'll talk about that, talk about what is happening, what's potentially happening with the investors. This is a look at the bond prices and it's over the last 10 days, or this is the last month. You'll notice they have been improving on a steady, fairly steady trend since July. If you look at the three month trend, they've been improving really since May or, or June. What has happened though over the last three or four days, really since the Fed came out and announced that they were going to continue buying treasuries with the liquidated mortgage backed securities, that happened last Wednesday. The market I thought was going to respond favorably to it and kind of continue their upward trend, but what I think is happening or what is actually happening is that they've flattened out and maybe started, the prices started going lower, the bond prices, which would push rates upwards. And that has happened over the last three or four days. I think what is happening, if you notice, this is a 100 day moving average. And over the last several months, the difference between the moving average and the actual bond prices has been increasing. Here it was basically about uh, a one on the scale. And if you look here, it's going to go one, two, three. So this spread has been moving very, very, very far apart. And we may very well be moving down to where that's going to come back together a little bit. If you look at the 10 day moving average, we're falling below that and we've broken below the 10 day moving average. So the rate Hopefully investors will come back a little bit and give us a little bit of price improvement over the next several days. But right now, investor mood, I think, is to get us a little bit closer, a little bit less pricey on the bond market, regardless of what the economic news is, 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 is giving us. And so far, the economic news has not been, in, not been of a sort that I would consider that would turn rates lower. So over the long haul, I think we still are going to keep our low rates, but over the near term, if you're closing in the next day or so, next week or so, it's probably a good time to consider locking. And if you have any other questions about that, please give me a call. My cell phone is 423-280-0345. If you have any comments, I'd love to hear them.